Hello and welcome to Terrain Oddity. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these which are essentially large planters. Now a planter is basically a large plant pot, something that you're going to put you know plants in and flowers in etc and you'll often find these in towns and cities to sort of make an area look a little bit more natural as opposed to a concrete jungle now i'm doing this for marvel crisis protocol my city board but you could use it for star wars legion maybe even 40k in D, &D. it's up to you tailor it to taste and um, if though at the end of this video you like this video press like if you're not subscribed and you're interested in terrain and you want to make more share more do more then you know please subscribe but anyway let's quickly get on and i'll show you how i made it one of the reasons i made this is because I've been working on a different project and I just had a lot of foam board left so I wanted to use this foam board and turn it into these planters. The first one I'm going to do is the rectangular one. I've measured out a two centimeter wide bit of foam board and uh, we're just going to cut that out into a strip. The length we're going to sort out in a moment. So it's two meters in height if you want, if you want to think of it that way. And then I'm going to separate it down. So I'm going to have the total width of this, like the length of it, I should say, is six centimeters. And then for the shorter ends, I'm going to have as, well, technically it'll be three centimeters because of the width of the foam board. So, uh, but the piece that I use is six, six and two, two. So it's actually two by two and then six by two twice if that makes sense hopefully the video makes that a little bit easier to understand so you're going to end up with four pieces initially and that's two sixes and two twos and then um, with the extra little bit here i'm just going to make something that's going to rest the so uh, soil on and um, so i'm cutting these to one centimeter in height and then with the actual width of the foam board that's going to make it that we have an, an indentation of half a centimeter so you can see here, these little extra pieces, I'm going to glue them to like on the inside and that's going to give a height to the actual level where the plants will sit. So the actual inside measurements in this, it's a two centimeters width inside and the length of it is five centimeters because we basically need to knock off two times the width of the foam board. Once I've got all the pieces, I'm just going to dry fit it and assemble it. You can see that we've got our little pieces that are going to increase where the, the plant bed and we've got our walls. Once you're happy with it, we're going to glue it on. Now I'm going to use hot glue. You could use PVA and um, hot glue can melt foam. So do be a little bit careful there. However, hot glue is much easier for me to work with just because, you know, it dries so quickly and you can move on. So you want to you want to fit these pieces. You don't really want it to overhang the edges. I almost uh, did by mistake, but you don't want to do that. And then you'll have what essentially is an elevated platform that we're then going to glue our sides of the boxes on. We're essentially just making a box with an insert. Um, and the, I started with the long piece when I was gluing this. I should have actually started with the short pieces because um, otherwise I had to guess where the middle was. But we're essentially just going to glue on our side pieces, our long pieces, and we're making a box. And inside of that box, we have an elevated platform that... Um, that's actually where the bed of the plants and stuff like that are gonna sit and um, so I'm using hot glue as I said you make your box it'll look like a box with a little indentation and that's exactly what we want and now to cover up where the foam board cuts are I'm just literally going to use cardboard I cut up an Amazon delivery pack feel free to use whatever cardboard you have it's not that hard to find like a cereal box is fine and we're going to do some cladding on the corners just because the corner doesn't look particularly nice having it be uneven so all I do there is cut little small strips that I think I just eyeballed but you could cut it to an exact measurement if you wanted and again I'm just going to hot glue that but you know be careful not to burn your fingers once you your little cladding pieces we're just going to fold it in half you don't have to be exact um, but you know it's it's easy enough to see once you see it on the screen i imagine and you know it looks fine there but the only extra bit of thing that i do is i cut out some point well five millimeters strips in width uh, to the exact length that i need which in this case was um, three centimeters and then five centimeters on the other one um, hot glue these little bits of cardboard to the top now i do recommend doing the top at least because you've got the ugly bits of foam board showing and um cladding it like this just ultimately increases the 
for the quality of the piece. And that's it. We pretty much have our box. The next thing we're actually going to do is just take some PVA, or in this case, I think I might be using Mud Podge, whack that in because we need to make something that looks like soil. So I'm just going to use some sand. Uh, so it's just PVA and sand, and you've got your piece there. And then I'm going to show you how to make the round one. So for the round one, we need initially a round circle. Um, you can use anything that's the appropriate size. I'm going here with something that's about two centimeters in height. So I'm going to cut out four circles, but the circles, I want to be an increasing size. So the smallest circle I have was the one that I started with. And um, I cut that out. I cut that out very gently with a Stanley knife. A very sharp blade helps you when you're cutting out foam board. Um, I did sand the first piece so it was a bit more round because my cutting wasn't exactly perfect. And then to get a slightly larger circle, I'm going to drown, draw around the first circle um, and that will increase it in, in size. Then when I come to cut out the next bit of the next circles, I actually just use a sharp pair of scissors because doing it with the knife was taking too long and um, I was losing the will to live just cutting out circles, which are quite difficult with a a Stanley knife but quite easy with scissors. The only downside to scissors is it will sort of squish your edges and just keep going. In this case we're actually looking to make four of these circles because as I said we're going for two centimeters high so what that will be is you know each foam board is five mil thick so we're going to do that four times but on the top one we're actually going to make the indentation so a circle where the plants will sit and um, so what we're going to have to do is draw a circle on that i just eyeballed it myself and then we're going to cut out the inner circle now this can be quite difficult because we're cutting out and inside a circle that's inside another piece now you could just cut it in half and do two semicircles and then go it together and then maybe cover it with card but i just spent the time and i sort of just jabbed at this with the stanley knife um be careful not to cut yourself that sort of goes without saying for all of these pieces but we basically want to try and cut out the inner circle now foam board's not very expensive so if you don't get it right the first time just cut out another piece and try it again there's no harm no foul there now, for gluing these together again, you could use PVA. I'm, on the other hand, just going to use hot glue because I like the speed of hot glue. The only downside to hot glue, which in this case I think might be a little bit of an advantage, is that it normally creates a little bit of separation in your pieces because it's, it, it sort of has a thickness in itself, um, which in this case I actually like because it means that there's gaps between the pieces. However, if you didn't want to have those gaps, you could very easily um, just use PVA and wait overnight. Maybe just press it down if you're going to use PVA because PVA will take, you know, like at 12, 12 to 24 hours to dry. Hot glue takes 10 seconds. And once you've got all your four pieces, you don't have to do this step, but I just took some fine sandpaper, not coarse sandpaper. You need fine because we're messing with like paper and foam board. And um, I'm just going to sort of sand it so it's got that sort of nice uh, narrow cylinder so narrow at the bottom and wider at the top and again for the indentation where the plants are going to fit we're just going to take some PVA and sand and just put that on and th there are the pieces without being painted and I think they look pretty fine I've actually lost the footage where I painted them black but it doesn't really matter I got some Mod Podge and some black paint mixed it together and just coated them in that now I, you can do it with PVA I just have lost my PVA and then for painting them, I initially sprayed them green uh, because in the UK we sort of have green plant pots in towns and cities. But then I googled like New York and I came up with some black ones and some white ones. So I actually went back and sprayed it black um, and then painted in brown for the sand for the rectangular one. For the cylinder one, I just painted that white, or actually I think I did wraith bone, um, and then again brown for the sand. And then for the rectangular one, I just dry brushed it up in lighter colors. Well, I actually do that for both of them. I just dry brush it in lighter colors. So for the black one, I just take some, I think slate gray, and just dry brush that. And then for the white one, which is actually wraith bone, because I didn't want pure white spray, because I thought, you know, you wouldn't have any highlights, etc. I then just dry brush that in white. Now for the foliage, I'm actually using these tall shrubbery bushes from um, Green Stuff World. They look really fantastic. They're called tall shrubbery bushes, so I did have to cut them down to size. That was pretty easy to do with just a pair of scissors though. Um, 
and I do this on the rectangular one and I've got to say I really like the the look. Now um, I actually tried to use just PVA to glue these together but this was actually a mistake. I wish that I just went with hot glue so ultimately you might see me use PVA but um, well actually Mod Podge but you what I did was I actually just took it off, took some hot glue and just did it like that. Now for the white one or the round one, um, I thought I would just use hot glue, but I'm not going to use that, um, the foliage. I'm just going to use clump foliage in this case, um, you know, dark green and light green, uh, just a mix of the two, just to show that, you know, you don't have to have these plants if you don't have them. So like that, that is it. Very simple. I've tried a little bit of an editing style where I go a little bit quicker. Now, if you find that a little bit disconcerting, do let me know in the comments. Um, but I I, they actually look fine for the white one i was going to clad it in cardboard but ultimately i decided not to bother with that and you know it looks fine the clump foliage looks fine as well uh, pretty happy with that as a look and then for the black one which is sort of turns into more of a gray because i dry brushed it up to gray um i actually really like these tall shrubbery bushes from um, green stuff world and i actually really like the look of that one i think both of them you can imagine seeing in the street somewhere or outside of a house i really really like the look of them and the materials very cheap as well the mate main material here was foam board uh, you for the rectangular box we are essentially just making we're making a uh, a box shape but instead of having a lid that's at the top we sort of have a lid that's slightly lower um, you can do that in many different ways. I just did it with a little bit of a piece that the middle bit sat on and then I built a box around it. You can do that any way you, you want to get that effect. And then for the round one, it's just four concentric, it's just four circles that slightly increase in size. And I just glued them on. And for the top bit, then I cut out a hole in the middle. That was a bit of a pain in the backside, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't really have an alternative to that, apart from maybe if you wanted, you could cut it in half and then cut out a semicircle and then glue the two pieces together. And then if you really wanted to cover the cracks, you could literally just get another bit of card and do the same because card is probably easier to cut than foam board. But ultimately, really, easy really quick really cheap depending on the kind of foliage you use and i think very effective if i do say so myself the square one in particular is perhaps my favorite i really like the tall shrubbery bushes and uh, yeah i'm very happy with that one indeed now the reason i've not really made more is because i was going to 3d print them but after seeing them a bit of me thinks i might make some more but that's it. If you have any questions relating to this video, I'm trying to speed up the editing style to maybe make it a little bit more like interesting. However, I, however, I am very concerned and aware that that might make it a little bit less easy to follow. But hopefully with the editing, just speeding up and showing the actual bits in real time, it makes it a little bit easier on the other hand. So just let me know if you enjoyed that or you didn't enjoy that or you didn't even notice it. Um, other than that, though, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I obviously reply to all comments, etc. If you like this video, press like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to see, like, if you really, really want to support the channel, then Patreon is obviously the place for you um, and me because you're giving me money and I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Um, what I do hope though is that you have a most beautiful, beautiful day and goodbye. Loving you, loving you is too hard. All I do, all I do is not enough. Loving you, loving you.